Good afternoon, Coach. Welcome to HSBN Media Days. Good to see you. Thank you. Good to be here. Please introduce yourself and the players you have here today. Okay, I'm Jerry Albert. I'm the head coach at West Boca mm -hmm. High School. On my left, I have Tyler Lichtenberger, a senior headed to Appalachian State. On my right, Matt Pagan, a senior headed to Santa Fe. Behind me, I have Chicho Goldstein, another senior headed up to Caldwell in New Jersey. And behind me is uh, James Lippman, who's a senior pitcher headed to FAU. Excellent. These are four of our senior leaders who should take the role of captain as the senior progresses, as the season progresses. Excellent. Well, good to see everyone here. So, Coach, it's your second year here, mm -hmm. but you're no stranger to being on the field. You have coached in all three counties, so tell me a little bit about that. Different programs in different counties, sure. tell, tell me about yeah. the differences there. Well, we spent 12 years starting a program at Coral Springs Charter, and then we left it off in really good hands. Uh, then headed down to Belen Jesuit in Miami, was there for 11 years, and then took the role of athletic director and baseball coach at West Boca for the last few years. Um, South Florida baseball is tremendous. All three counties have terrific talent. Um, the group we have right now is a very special group of kids. They work very hard. They're committed to the game. Uh, they practice very well, and, and, and they, they really listen well. So it's a good group. Everywhere you go, it's, it's year to year as far as what type of group you get, what type of seniors you have, what type of underclassmen have a buy-in that you'd like them to have. Uh, the counties are different, but really the counties are very much the same. Uh, the talent in South Florida is very strong in all three counties. So bottom line is it's, it's baseball, and, and we're going to get out of the kids as much as they're willing to put into it on their end. Excellent. Talk to me about your roster this year. What is, what is it, what's the makeup uh, of it this we year? Have, we have a lot of seniors, actually, which generally speaking over the years when you're senior heavy, it can be good, but it can also be tricky because there's a lot of things that distract seniors from playing. And they come upon the prom, senior trips senioritis, mm -hmm. uh, but this particular group is special. I'm not worried about that at all. This is a group that's very, very committed to baseball, and we've seen that in the off season with their commitment to the weight room, to the off season program we run, to the fall program we run. So we're very comfortable with the fact that we're senior heavy on this roster, and we're looking for great things from them. Excellent, and from the player's perspective, we'll start here. How do you motivate yourself, your other teammates for this, for having a successful year this year? You know, we won the district championship the last two years, and my freshman year, we didn't make it very far, and winning it back-to-back -back was really motivational, and we're looking forward to winning the third one. Yeah, same here. Um, my first two years in high school, I didn't really have an opportunity to, to be a champion in the districts, but last year was my, my first one, and we're just looking to do the same thing this year. Yeah, freshman year we came up short, so that motivated me the past two years. Uh, we won back to back, looking for a three three this year. Nice. For you? Showing up every day, knowing that this is the last year, it's really motivational to come out and do our job and win as many games as we can this year. What's the mood of the team? Are you guys excited? Is there a lot of, I mean, you guys are working extra hard at the gym or you on the field? Or what, what's, tell me a little bit about the mood of the team of your ball club. I would say probably like excited and just anxious to start already. We've been waiting for this since our last game last year. We're just very excited to get the season going already. We also, we also got a lot of chemistry. Yeah. Great friends sure. on the field, off the field, in school, everywhere we go. It's just like we're brothers. That's great. And again, this is the second year with Coach. So was it easier that you knew his system from last year to this year? Has it made an easier transition? Definitely. Yeah, the transition has been really easy. You know, Coach Albert is a great coach. Uh, he's really helped us from being a decent team to being a great team. And we're excited to continue that this year. Excellent. Coach, tell me about your schedule. Who are you playing this year? Um, our schedule is probably as tough as anybody out there. Um, I think that that's happened over the years where we continually play the same programs year in, year out, whether it was down in Coral Springs or Belen Jesuit and then coming up here. We play a lot of the same programs because we try to play the top programs in South Florida. And year in, year out, you, you wind up having a lot of respect for the other programs. Schools like St. Thomas Aquinas and Christopher Columbus and Cardinal Gibbons, Miami Pace, American Heritage. These are programs that we have tremendous respect for, we have a good relationship with, we have good rapport with their staffs. So we play them year in, year out. Um, 
and what happens is you wind up playing a very, very difficult schedule because these programs are top tier programs. Uh, so when at, at the end of the year, when the, when the strength of schedule rankings uh, really have a lot to do with how you get ranked, it, it helps you. But more than anything, you just want to play good professionally run programs. So every night you get out there, you have a really high level high school baseball game. Um, so our, our schedule is filled with high, high level baseball programs, night in, night out. We are uh, in two tournaments, one over at Westminster Academy and the other one up in Sanford. And it'll be nice in Sanford because we're going to play a lot of teams from the uh, Orlando and Seminole County area. They, they have their spring breaks at the same time as us. So we'll get to play some schools where you normally wouldn't play them. Over the years, we've played some of them. Uh, but it's nice to get out of the area and play some schools from Central Florida and, again, top-tier programs. So it's what makes it exciting. I think the kids get excited playing the better talent, the better programs, and uh, it just makes for a much better high school experience. A good repercussion of that is, is you wind up being a lot more playoff ready. When you're playing top tier teams night in, night out, you, you kind of know what to expect uh, when you run into the playoffs and the deeper you can get in the playoffs. You know, these guys all mention the districts, but in reality, the, the goal is to, to get much deeper than a district championship. The goal is to win your district and then win every playoff game from that point forward. You know, I think we'd like to be the one team that goes home in 6A excited at the end of the year uh, and to be able to celebrate. So it's definitely a goal within reach for us. Um, it's just one day at a time. You know, Come out and be the best you could be every day and then try your best to win the game at hand and, and the rest will take care of itself. Exactly. And for the players, though, is there a certain uh, matchups that you're looking forward to as, your, as seniors? We like playing all the hardest teams in the, in the um, counties, you know, the tri-state area, and um, or the tri-county area, I'm sorry. But we like playing the best teams because it makes us better, and there's no off games. We don't get to take any games off. We have to play every game like it's our hardest, and it's the same way in practice. Anybody else? Oh, the game I'm looking forward to is probably Palm Beach Gardens. Yeah. They beat us uh, three years in a row, and uh, we finally got the team to beat them. So I'm excited for that game. So, Coach, sum it up for us. What can we expect from the Bulls this year? Well, I, I think you're going to have a nice, good group of kids that work hard, that play disciplined, play the game the right way, behave the right way, and go at it hard every day. Uh, wins and losses will take care of itself, but as long as we have the right approach, a professional approach, then we'll get the most out of them. Excellent. Well, the best of luck this season. Thank you, Coach. And we'll see you on the field. Thank you. You what? Go ahead. Uh, West Boca is not going to talk it this year, but we are going to walk it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. See you on the field.